Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. OTM, the leading travel trade show in Asia Pacific. OTM Mumbai, the leading travel trade show in India was held at the brand new Geo World Convention Center by Fairfest Media Limited, organizers of India's oldest and biggest travel trade show network. This OTM, aptly called the Booster Edition, showcased and catalyzed the recovery of the Indian travel market post-pandemic. The size and quality of pavilions set up by Saudi, Qatar, Moscow, St. Petersburg, Korea, Mauritius, Indonesia and many Indian states were of highest international standards. Russia was represented by four regional pavilions from their country, a first in any travel trade show in India. Hosted VIP buyers, panel discussions and fireside chats on the sides of OTM ensured that the who's who of the travel industry were present, in addition to 22,000 travel trade visitors who were screened through a registration process. Geo World Convention Center's facilities are simply world-class and unmatched in India. Moreover, its location at BKC, at the heart of Mumbai, the largest travel market in India, was hailed by all as the top exhibition venue in the country. These factors helped OTM emerge as the clear leader among travel trade shows in India. With advanced commitments from international and national pavilions, OTM's next edition from 2nd to 4th February 2023 at the Geo World Convention Centre will be twice the size of this booster edition and simply the number one travel trade show in the country. OTM is the right platform because we were able to generate that kind of interest. It's basically connecting with the right source markets. We're targeting leisure, mice and weddings and which is, I think, the right platform for us to connect with these rice agents. We can use OTM as a platform to bring more Indian tourists coming to Indonesia. As a tourism board, Mauritius, we've come with around 18 tourism partners who are here to meet their fellow partners in India to rekindle relationship so that you know business can grow between both parties. All the uh, visitors are all from the industry and this is a great platform to touch base with them. See, as a government, we can create demand, we can market, but selling will happen only through these agents and the uh, industry tool operators, etc. So to have a connect between the marketing and sales, you know, this is a very, very important forum. Chief guest Mangal Prabhat Loda, Minister of Tourism, Government of Maharashtra, inaugurated the event with a ribbon cutting ceremony. followed by the welcome address from Sanjeev Agarwal, Chairman and CEO of Fairfest Media Limited. Welcome to this OTM Booster Edition, which is a houseful show. We have participants from so many countries and all over India. We are all aware of the setbacks due to pandemic and many other recent events in the world. But however, the Indian market is showing an exceptional resilience. Indians would go wherever they are allowed to go. If you process their visa fast, they are willing to go to foreign countries. If not, they are willing to travel within the countries and make up for the losses suffered due to lack of inbound tourists. And this has created a kind of a unique dynamics which makes India, an Indian tourist market, a very big opportunity in the short and long run. The Minister of Tourism, Government of Maharashtra, Mangal Prabhat Loda, praised the show for its quality and size. Mr. Agrawal is the pioneer in this field. He is organizing such a big show all over India. And I'm sure that whoever participate with him, whoever associate with him, whoever put faith in him, is never feel bad about it. And he is more gainer out of it. Because it's a win-win situation for all. You come here, you get the customers, and we also get the support of you people when we go there. You are here to promote your country, your city. It's good. It's your duty. And looking forward to work together 
in a better closer ties for the promotion of the tourism in the state of Maharashtra. Up next, Al Hassan Ali Aldabag, the Chief Markets Officer Asia Pacific at Saudi, the premier partner country of OTM 2022, spoke about the importance of the Indian market for Saudi Arabia. Saudi is the fourth largest partner for India and the Indian community is the largest expat community in Saudi Arabia. India is one of our top key source markets and we are planning to invest in growing the market and growing our trade partners. We are working now in making visas more accessible for all Indian travelers. We know that what the Indian travelers want. They are looking for culture, for adventure, for sport, and exploring the city. Saudi offers this and more, combining authentic Arabian culture, pristine nature, and rapidly expanding entertainment offering. Therefore, tourism will be a key driver for future growth and further strengthening the ties between the two nations. The world has changed, it's evolved. The demographic of a traveler has changed, the destination has changed. People are looking for newer experiences. They are not looking for the run of the mill experience which they were you know, initially traveling on and the way they were exploring the world. They are looking at different experiences going forward. And this is the right platform for you to connect with all countries, all Indian states also because they are all here and also private players who are in the market to say how we could actually do business which is going to be productive for both ends. To showcase reopening of international travel, several countries set up large pavilions, for example, Saudi Arabia, Russia, represented by Moscow, St. Petersburg, Kaliningrad and Mamans, Qatar, Korea, Mauritius and Indonesia. All of them had set up stunning pavilions and were flooded with inquiries and business meetings. Qatari offers uh, great hospitality, a uh, brand new product, a uh, great destinations, uh, which cut across all segments, right from families to romantic holidays to adventure sports. Obviously, sports is one of our key key aspects of it. So it has a lot to offer. All we have to do is look into newer aspects, newer adventures, and newer newer ways of doing things. Since post pandemic, uh, first half of this year, uh, the traveler from India increased very well. Now, India Travelers to Indonesia is the second largest in Bali. In Indonesia, number four. And international traveling increased 124% in Indonesia, just first half of this year. Especially for the mice and the student group, we have uh, our own incentive program, uh, such as um, uh, more gifts, any, more, any more entrance fee, something like that. But uh, and uh, usually we our main activity for customer is to is to joint marketing with the travel agencies. So uh, we support some budget for the travel agency. It could definitely decrease the number uh, the, the decrease of travel packages. That could be beneficial for the customer eventually. India is a very important market for Mauritius. Prior to the pandemic, India represented around 10% of our annual tourism numbers. But post-pandemic, what we've seen is that India opened as from March, and during the past three months, we've seen a certain upsurge in the number of Indians that are visiting Mauritius. And today, the recovery rate for India on the Mauritian market is around 60%. Post-pandemic, we have streamlined the process of traveling in Mauritius. Right now, we don't have to check vaccination certificates. You just enter. Visa. You don't require any visa for, Mar for Indians to travel. And we just have, we have direct uh, access. So it's just five hour a direct flight from Mumbai to Mauritius. OTM also had a host of Indian pavilions, for example, from Goa, Gujarat, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Punjab, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and India Tourism. We have the Azadi Ka Amrut Mahotsav, which is a major initiative. We have also launched something called UR Tourism Club, 
we have been encouraging the school children and the students of the colleges etc sensitizing them the importance of tourism and trying to make them tourism ambassadors because they will be our future uh, travelers and tourists the utsav portal ministry of tourism has come up with something called where we are aggregating all the festivals so we are showcasing so this is a platform to showcase the uh, government initiatives and also give a platform to almost 20 operators who have come from across uh, uh, india all the forms of tourism it may be religious it may be cultural it may be heritage it may be farm tourism so all the tourism sector uh, are available in punjab and and this is what the people of india require because punjab uh, is known for the uh, hospitality punjab is known for the lush green uh, uh, farms mustard farms so it is very important and uh, it is also uh, our tagline is India begins here. During the pandemic, people couldn't travel, so now it is like a revenge tourism, and people want to just go out. And in India, one Goa is already known, so they have been influxing to Goa in great numbers. Saint Petersburg Convention Bureau made a special presentation on how the city is ready to welcome Indian travelers in large numbers. Over the last ten years, the tourist flow from India to Russia. and to st petersburg in particular has shown us a steady growth we can see significant potential in cooperation with mumbai in various areas and are ready to work together to expand our ties otm the leading travel trade show in asia pacific OTM, the leading travel trade show in Asia Pacific. OTM 2022 Booster Edition also featured cutting-edge discussion forums, starting with a keynote panel on the emerging new world order of international travel. The key takeaway from this panel was that as the conventional destinations in the West are unable to process visa fast, other destinations have a unique window of opportunity to move in. we are trying to achieve uh, the aims um, of uh, 100000 uh, visitors from india uh, in uh, 2023 it's pre pandemic uh, numbers and we want to achieve it and i must say that um, nowadays uh, visitors from india is in top 5 uh visitors uh, foreign visitors uh, to russia and i must say that uh visitors from russia is uh, as uh, as far as i know is uh, in top 5 uh, to india too uh, so it's a um, mutual uh, understanding mutual friendship so we we must work harder and that's it we are at 100% open status all the restrictions have been lifted for fully vaccinated individuals um and i think we're seeing a very very strong response from india right in the first 7 months uh, of the year alone we had 2.89 lakh visitors from india uh, come out to singapore and i think that is testimony to the very extensive links between singapore and india for the longest time you know the ability of um our tourism industry to reinvent themselves um and to sharpen kind of what it is that you know makes you stand out indian travelers are sophisticated travelers they are travelers for whom the world is their oyster um so what is it that is going to make you um be able to have value right um for for the indian traveler and i think for us um we see that value in being able to provide a whole other game changing vacation experience it's not just about sightseeing but it's really about seeing what singapore is about as a way of life um and taking something back with you Another interesting panel discussion was on the trends shaping the Indian travel markets in 2022 and beyond where industry experts shared their insights about the post-pandemic recovery of travel businesses. India is a a big growth market for Saber, something that we're investing in heavily and um and we see it as a big opportunity because we we see India as uh, outpacing the rest of the world in terms of travel recovery and something that we need to be a part of. So, uh Saber really is excited about what's happening in India. The tourism industry in general is going to see uh, a tremendous bounce back uh, and this is going to stay for a long time. 
uh, we don't see uh, any impact on the demand in general. Digitally, we are seeing a uh, better penetration. Uh, we see the customers uh, wanting to get into more web check-in. Uh, they're more self-sufficient as a result. Uh, that it's having an impact on the customer touch point though. Uh, but having said that, the customer being self-sufficient and uh, the very fact that airlines are forced to be tech enabled is really helping them go top notch uh, on the service delivery for the customer. The business that's coming in today is not coming in only from the main cities, it's coming in from smaller towns. We have a lot of set of new customers who are coming to us uh, uh, because we're able to reach them more uh, easily now. Uh, uh, there are a lot of innovations we've done uh, over the last two years in terms of how we can reach out to customers. The biggest trend or biggest opportunity that would happen is if we're able to digitally personalize uh, travel and able to uh, make it accessible to each and everyone across the country, I think that will be the biggest, uh, I know it's a challenge, but as well as the opportunity today. If you look at us, for example, our domestic business is already 130, 140% of what it was pre-pandemic, right? Indians have discovered India uh, like never before, right? Not only uh, were they going to places they hadn't, they were staying longer, they were doing things they uh, would not have traditionally done and obviously spending more. So I think domestic tourism uh, is, uh, has got the boost and I don't think it's going to go away now that Outbound has opened up. I think Indians have discovered that almost everything that you can get overseas, you can find in India in some form or fashion. And I think that's very good from a long-term standpoint. In the Wedding Sutra Engage session, top wedding planners discuss the destination wedding trends around the world in the wake of pandemic-related restrictions. This pandemic, you know, people are becoming more self-aware, more ecologically aware. So you now we are being a lot of shift towards um, sustainability. I wouldn't say 100% sustainable, but we're trying to eliminate single-use plastics. You know, a lot of flowers are used one time in a function that's thrown away. So you know, we're trying to kind of, you know, see how we can optimize that. We are using recycle, recyclable papers and, you know, gifts and stuff like that. So there's a huge shift, obviously, you know, uh, the move towards where digital invites has been a big one. You know, we don't print uh, invitation cards anymore. So there's a lot of shift which has kind of become part of our life and I think there's no going back on those trends. Guests are so involved in personalization, in gifting, in curating that special experience. So I think a lot of personalization is coming into weddings. It has been in a very different format and now it's just gone to a whole you know, different level, right from your cuisine to your gifting to your entertainment, uh, getting an international you know, artist who only performing for your wedding. You want to be the first. So yeah, we're seeing a lot of those trends and we're actually loving it. The wedding format, I don't see any tech changes that have happened as such. But yes, definitely people have become much more savvy. The big change for us is Zoom meetings and we love it because uh, the amount of time that everyone would have to uh, give in just to do a meeting in Bombay with the traffic, it has now gone away. Cine Locals was a star-studded conversation among industry leaders from the film fraternity on bringing global destinations and locations to Indian cinema followed by presentations by Moscow, Turkey, Mauritius and South Africa who presented their incentive schemes and infrastructure for filmmakers to shoot in their countries. We do have a strong cultural affinity with India and there have been numerous Indian productions recently that have shot in South Africa. Um, for example, Fear Factor and uh, Roadies uh, on MTV has also recently done production in South Africa. So I think uh, the destination is becoming well known um, it is very uh, investor friendly um, and shooting friendly. So I'd like to also encourage Indian companies, producers and production companies to look at South Africa, um, to engage with us and, and see where we can support and, and hopefully take more Indian productions to South Africa. OTM 2022 at Geo World Convention Center was a huge success and proved to be a real booster of confidence for the travel trade industry. It's time to get ready for OTM Mumbai's next full-fledged edition from the 2nd to the 4th of February 2023 at the Geo World Convention Center, which will be twice the size and simply the number one travel trade show in the country. Don't miss out. OTM, the leading travel trade show in Asia-Pacific.
focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable.